Another day, another dog to run. Just a little cut. Really good clean dog work there. Rooster, it's a good boy, right here. Ain't it crazy how one day things can change that fast? We went from 100 degrees, sweating our butts off, sun beating down on us to, I'm wearing a hoodie now, it's cool, it's in the 50s, got a pretty strong cold breeze blowing through, it's overcast, and there's been a little bit of occasional rain moving through the area, so got good conditions day to finally run some dogs all day long and i was out this morning ran aspen had some good bird contacts with her and now i'm about to take uh, the pup fox out for a little spin here i'm back in a pretty big section it's a pretty vast area of prairie grass here but down in this area there's some draws and lower areas that run through it and some different brushes and just diversity and that's kind of the trend i'm sticking to and looking for so yeah good day to run dogs i'm excited to have this weather and a stretch of weather like this in the next couple days now so let's get to it we're going to start out with aspen's hunt this morning and now i'm going to go run fox good girl you ready to go you ready to go hunting i know i know you're crazy and you're ready to go all right girl let's see what we got i see him they're in the other side of the bush here dang it it was a group of Huns. I saw him on the ground on the other side of this bush. I started swinging around and they came out. That bird! Dog was on point over here and birds started getting up on top of the hill here. I knocked one down. Aspen chased after the birds though. I don't know what happened to her. There's the bird. Nice work, Aspen. Ah, this is kind of nasty. Look at the ticks on these things. There's just ticks covered around its neck. So if you're out sharp tail hunting, look out for ticks on the birds. Fetch, here. Good girl, fetch, here. More birds. Good dog. Fetch, here. Here. Aspen, fetch. Hey. Good girl. Give. Give. Good girl. Nice work, girl. Nice work. Ah, you've just got so much intensity when you're on point that any little flinch or any little thing just makes you <clears throat> just a little bit. Just a little bit. It's fun to watch though. Rooster. Good dog. Get it, girl. <laughs> girl here nice work good job kid good job 
Well, I didn't get the flush and the shot on camera, unfortunately, but little Foxy got herself a bird here. Nice cubby of huns we just found. She's been working through this and birdie and stopping and pointing a little bit here and finally she got birdie and came right into these birds and covey got up in front of her face and I dropped one for her. You ready to go buddy? You ready to go? Dang it. I should have waited. A pair of them flew right at me. Oh, jumpy little birds. Jumpy covey of huns. I just, I needed another 10 feet. I needed another 10 feet and I was there. It's a new day and the weather has changed once again. It's cool out still today, but all that spotty rain and overcast weather we had yesterday has moved on out of the area. It's absolutely beautiful out. It's only supposed to be a high in the mid 60s today with some sunshine, a little bit of cloud cover here and there. Just a nice easy breeze blowing across the prairie and it just feels great out. It's gonna be a good day for hunting and running dogs. So I've already been out this morning with Ember for a run. We came into some birds. The sharp tails we were hitting at first light this morning were pretty jumpy. We couldn't get anything locked down there. They were busting out in front of us 40, 50, 60, 100 yards on some birds. They were, they knew we were coming and they weren't having it. But we did make a turn into another section and we got a covey of uh, sharp tails locked down. I knocked down one bird out of that covey and then we came across a couple coveys of huns and even some pheasants. So we're going to get into that and while you guys are watching that, I'm going to get back to running dogs. Amber. Get a little bit of magic loaded in the gun. Dang it. Dog was on point right here. There's a bird that got up over there. I missed at it. Two more birds got up top here. She's back on point. Ember. Good girl. Nice work. Fetch here. Good girl, Ember. Good work, dog. It's taken us a minute to get on some birds here. We've worked all the way around this other side of this wheat field, came around back here and came up here and we were hitting some single sharp tails over there that were just jumping and busting way out in front of us. 
Uh, we had a covey of Huns back on this side that jumped out way in front of us and we came up here and she went on point and a couple of these sharp tails got up. She worked up, went back on point. I released her, she comes right over here, comes on point and there's one bird left sitting up top here. Good girl. Good girl. Come here, Amber. Give. Right there. Good girl, dead bird. All right, I knocked one down. I thought I knocked this one, this first one down, but I think he picked himself back up and kept flying. And then this one, dead bird, dead bird find. Ember, Ember here, Ember, Ember. Amber. Oh, it's a pheasant. Dead bird. Dead bird. Dead bird. Ember. Dead bird. Fetch. Yep, it is. It's sitting right here. Good girl. Good job, Ember. Right here, here. Good girl. Ember. Good job, girl. Man, it always makes me a little nervous when you get in spots like this when it's real thick. And sometimes it's just tough to pick up these dead wing wash birds and cover like this. Good girl, here. Fetch, here. Good girl. Hey, give. Good work on that covey. Big covey of Huns. All right. Welcome to the finest eating establishment on the prairie. I'm about to cook up some dinner for the afternoon before I go back out hunting this evening. And I'm about to make something that I've been thinking about and wanting ever since I got out here. And that is some sharp tail tacos. Down here I've got some sharp tail sliced up real thin, some bell pepper, a little bit of onion, and I'm gonna douse it in some taco seasoning, add a little bit of queso into it, top it with some salsa, wrap it up in a tortilla, and some nacho cheese flavored chips to go on the side. So yeah, I'm excited about this. It's gonna be pretty good, be easy to make, and then gonna hang out for a little bit. It's kind of warm and sunny this afternoon, and then I'm gonna go out here and run Aspen. I came out to a big section of prairie, and there's not a whole lot of cover around, but there's this one little section here. I'm, I'm sorry, it's not really little. It's a pretty big area. There's a lot of ground here to cover, but yeah, it's just all nice looking prairie grass, and there's a wheat field as well back here, some hills and terrain, and the cover looks good. It's just the right size and height for sharp tails. So that's what I'm going out here to try and find this afternoon is some more sharp tails. So let's eat some sharp tail tacos and then we're gonna go hunting sharp tails. Let's see how we did. That's exactly what I've been wanting. Aspen.
What an evening. Just picture perfect. It's beautiful out. Got a big open place for the dog to run free. Good looking countryside to stare at. And if we're lucky, maybe a couple birds flushing along the way. Fetch here. Here. Fetch. Good. Good girl. Nice work, girl. Dog went on point. We weren't quite to him yet. She moved up, went back on point. Bird started taking flight. Whoa. Fat chair. Fat chair. Good girl, Aspen. Give. Give. Good work. Good work, girl. Good girl. Good job. Good way to end the day. Good job, girl. Fat cheer. Fat cheer. Nice job. That's our limit. Good job. Fat cheer. Aspen, here. Good job. Give. Give. That was a good job, girl. That was a really good job. Ah. Oh, covey of sharp tails just sitting here in the corner of the wheat. Little bit of alfalfa here. This is a cut hay field. There's a lot of alfalfa just growing up in this area in general. So we got alfalfa, wheat, some prairie grass, a little bit of terrain. Just a beautiful place for sharp tails. Really good clean dog work there. You ready? Yeti. Yeti, come. Dead bird. Dead bird. Good boy, dead bird. We ain't even made it. Barely freaking 50 yards from the truck. Dead bird. That took us a minute to find, but we got it. There, give. Well, 
We're not breaking any record books on this one. No wonder it took us so long to find just such a small wing wash bird. Good boy. Good boy. All right, let's go. Come on, Yeti. That's gnarly. Cool find. Man, that'd be awesome if the frame was full and not eaten. I don't really have the room for this, and I'm just gonna leave it for somebody else to find one day. We were close, but not quite close enough. My guess is that it was Huns and they were running around down us up here. Dog was working this area for a bit, real birdie, real cautious, pointed right here. Wind's coming up this way. Those birds just got up just a touch far down there. There we go. Good boy. Fetch here. Nice work. Man, I just love those moments. Dogs just working real slow and nice for you. Come here. Good boy. This has been a long walk. We've worked for this one. It's a good boy. Right here. Give. Give. Thank you. Nice work, Yeti. There goes one more. Wind was at our back there, and dog was just working ground scent, trailing into him. Working real cautious and slow, and... Man, that just gets my heart rate going when you're working like that real close with a dog and dog's just going step by step real slow and you're right there and you guys just know something's gonna be there. There might be some people that say those weren't pointed birds or that's not what you should be doing with a true pointing dog, but man, in my opinion, it's just all about how the dog is working with you in that given moment. And I felt like the dog and I were just perfectly working together he wasn't going ahead of me trying to purposely get out and rip birds and find them. It was just the two of us together working against those birds. And it was a team right there. So not every time is just picture perfect where the dog is standing there on staunch point and you walk in and the birds take flight. Sometimes you'll have that where birds are moving around on you or wind direction shifting and the dog's just working right in front of you and you guys are trying to find the birds. I just got back to the truck from my morning run with Yeti and about partway through, I noticed a red dot on his chest right where his, his throat meets his chest. And so I called him over, took a look at it and it was a spot of blood and he had just a tear through the skin right there. We were crossing a fair amount of barbed wire fence. I'm assuming that's how he got it. And I'm just gonna show you guys real quick how I'm gonna clean this and 
prevent anything else from getting into it. So here it is right here. Get your head up. You can see it's just a little cut, half inch long, right on the skin. Nothing too major. So I got some saline wound wash to spray it and clean it out. And then I've got EMT gel, which is gonna help protect it and keep it sealed off from anything getting into it. And it's also gonna disinfect the wound. And I've got this cotton swab applicator just to apply the EMT gel, just to keep everything sterile. There's a few seeds and stuff like that up in it. So this has a two pack of these. So I'm gonna take one swab and just go around in it and pull out any debris. Get it all nice and clean. Then I'm gonna take this EMT gel and just put some on the end of this applicator stick. Just like that. And we got the EMT gel on top of it. So I'll just monitor this for the next few days and see how it's healing. Life is a bird dog. Thankfully though, it's just a small cut. It wasn't anything major or big to deal with. So Yeti should be healed up here in no time. Right, buddy? Yeti. It's Thursday, September 7th, and I'm out here at a brand new spot this morning, and I'm getting ready to go hunt Aspen. At the first light this morning, I ran Ember. We didn't come across a whole lot. One covey of sharp tails and huns that jumped out in front of us, and that was about it for that walk. But came out here to a new spot, give it a shot. So let's grab Aspen, and I'll see you guys out there. the dog. I gotta cross this fence. I touched one, man, just needed another couple, two steps. Oh, good dogs, crappy shooting. Sorry, girl, I'm sorry. Birds were sitting right down there. They let me cross the fence and everything. Good girl, fat cheer. Good girl, fetch. Here. Good girl, nice work, Aspen. Missed that covey. Came down here and got some nice work on a good looking single. Good work, girl. Nice bird. Good girl, Aspen. Good girl. Good girl. Yep. Yep. 
it's hot down here. Come here. Let's take a minute. We got out of the wind. We came down in this valley between these hills and when we were up high, it was really, really windy and it felt pretty good up here, but we got down here and it's completely dead. The air is stale, sun's beating down and it's just hot. Dog's feeling it too. I could tell she wasn't all quite there when she was on point back there. And she chased after that bird and I shot it and she didn't want to pick it up because it's so hot. Give you a spray behind the ears. That's a good girl. Good girl. We're not the only ones out hunting. Dogs on point in here. Somewhere on the other side here. Ah, oh, dang it. I shot too early. Pheasant. Good girl. Well guys, that run with Aspen is gonna go ahead and wrap up this last week of hunting. It's been a full week of hunting now here. It's September 7th and it's been a really good time. I really hope you guys have been enjoying following along. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed kind of the new format I've been trying and everything I'm trying to bring this year. And the best is yet to come still. Still have a lot of good times coming up in the field. A few more weeks of hunting for myself out here. In a few days, I'm gonna be meeting up with my buddy Justin who's been hunting out here. We're gonna get together, run some dogs. And then I'm really excited because a few days after that, my dad and my cousin are driving all the way out here to meet up with me. So so I'm excited for their first time and their experience of being out here and yeah a lot of good things ahead and I'm looking forward to all of it so thank you guys for following along and I'll catch you in the next one in the field somewhere